everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, welcome to the Early Late Show. I'm your host, Josh Reed. Uh, on drums and guitar, we have Duke and Chu. Give it up for yourselves, guys. That's why they're not getting paid. Uh, also tonight, we have friend of the show, Lori, who's going to be with us. Lori, everybody loves him, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah? All right. Also, we have uh, Eric Morris and Brandon Hoff here to talk about their new film. So that'll be great as well. So, yeah. We got to get right to it. Uh, got to get going. Uh, first of all, have you guys heard this? Uh, Ashlo, a monkey that can actually speak in human languages, died last Tuesday at the age of 42. Yeah. A lot of people are really disappointed. Thank you for starting that, sir. I appreciate it. A lot of people are really disappointed. Most of all, President Bush and his cabinet, because now they need a new speechwriter for their team. So. <laughs> The quietest I've ever heard, 500 people. That's right, there's 500. Please don't try to count. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld recently appeared on uh, Late Night with Larry King uh, to talk about his new B movie. Uh, it got a little heated at one point when uh, King actually got several facts about Seinfeld's career wrong, to which Jerry yelled out, do you even know who I am? Uh, to that, King replied, I'm 193 years old. I'm not even sure who I am right now. <laughs> got one. All right. Uh, Lastly, I don't know if you heard about this, Southern California, they've been having a lot of wildfires. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all you guys. Fox News has actually been talking about Al-Qaeda being involved, even though there's really no evidence at all. Uh, it's really strange. A spokesman for Al-Qaeda actually said, we didn't start this fire, but 12-3 and Britney Spears' career, we're totally behind both of those. <laughs> Thanks, Chewy. Anyways, now I'm told Lori's out in the field, so let's cut to him. Lori? Lori, what do you have for us today, buddy? Well, I guess Lori's only marketable skill is looking sweet. So there's Lori looking sweet. Um, thanks for being here, buddy. That's right. <laughs> and there's Monty, who we'll be interviewing later. What are you looking at it, Josh? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Our show's so cheap, we can't even afford a sign that actually spells Q-C-U-E. We just have to have the letter Q there. So that's a nice little... Nice little touch by Wolfie. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, now, I guess we're going to be cutting to a little uh, giveaway for you guys. So thank you for coming out. So, yeah. yeah. Who wants some free stuff? Hmm? That's right. Cat ear? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy, enjoy all that valuable merchandise, everybody. Uh, anyways, now I'd like to welcome Brandon Hoff and Eric Morris to the set to discuss their new movie. Fellas, bring them here. Get our own song? That's yeah, it's all out for you guys. Thanks. So Good anyways, time. let's jump right to it. New movie coming out. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about it? How'd you get started here? It's called The Kai Aspen Formula, and uh, it's a science fiction film. We're kind of going for old school science fiction back like 50s, 60s, 70s-ish, like Twilight Zone era. Okay. So we got to watch a lot of Twilight Zones for this movie. Uh, also, another big influence is... Um, Soylent Green, starring that's, Charlton Heston. That's the one with the surprise where the food's made of people. Where, spoiler alert for all you guys that haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's been 30 years. You've had a long enough time. No, he's also dead, dead the whole old. time. Don't even worry about it. Yep. That's a, never They're mind. turning on us. <laughs> anyway, uh, why don't you tell us a little about the plot here? What's, what's the rundown on this? Well, it's basically about this pharmaceutical corporation mm -hmm. that has developed this drug called Kiaspin mm -hmm. that gets rid of the necessity of sleep. Hmm. However, some side effects may occur. Some of our audience could use that. <laughs> yeah. Do that thing with the drums where he tells a joke. There we go. Thanks, Chewy. Thank, thanks, Chewy. Um, Anyways, it's uh, following the character named Trevor Steele. Trevor Steele. Uh, who is played by Kyle Latino, who okay. you know. He, he uh, won Taylor's Best Actor in a lead role a few years back, didn't he? Yeah, he did, uh, which is deserving. He actually was Taylor's back Best Actor. 
Uh, all four years he was here. But yes, you're right. He did win the award. Oh, one, one year. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. All right. Well, I've heard a lot of horror stories working with him. Um, are they true? And if they are, you know, how do you guys deal with that? Because he's kind of an egomaniac. I've heard. So. Yeah. Yeah, they're true. Yeah. yeah. The, the people way, laughing know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> the way that you deal with Kyle is to try to convince him that whatever you're working on is his idea. <laughs> so you can ha hang it over his head if he gets belligerent and says, you know, starts getting, you know, whatever. And then he can say, well, you know, I'm not going to do this then. It's your movie. You know? <laughs> I'm helping you out. Yeah. And uh, that, works. Works. Try that, that actually kind of works a little bit. I'll have to try that with Duke sometimes because he can kind of try to take over everything. So. Yeah, it works for people who are <laughs> um, less intelligent than they think they are. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect. So anyways, I understand you guys have a clip for us. Why yeah, don't you right. uh, set yeah. that up here? We do. This is uh, Trevor has finally decided that he's had enough of these clinical trials and mm -hmm. he is breaking out of the facility. Okay. Well, let's take a look, shall we? So I guess a lot of people, you know, they heard you're coming out. They asked me to ask you this. What would you recommend for a young person that wants to get started in this field? You know, how should they go about it? What should they do to be great like you guys obviously are on your way to becoming? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But it is a tough industry. So dedication is really something that's important if you want to get into something like filmmaking. So okay. I would definitely say you need to be really dedicated and motivated. So, but what know. he's really saying is don't get into it because then it means more competition for us. Ah, I see. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> not true. <laughs> so anyways, do you guys have any uh, new projects coming up on the horizon? Is there anything well, big the, just uh, been closing this here? Hasn't been, uh, this hasn't been formally in, you know, <laughs> but Wolfie's Keyboard of Doom 3. We can I'm play sure everyone here. looks forward to that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by. Appreciated it. Boys, why don't you take us home here? <laughs> Woo!